Daily, can we expect this Roman dog pilot to understand the danger that Jesus Nazareth is to Israel? We have to keep trying. Pilate can't seem to understand that this is not just a religious matter, it is a civil matter. How can it be anything except political when his followers are ready to proclaim him king? What will it take if two such respected members of the Sanhedrin, such as you and I, can't convince him? Perhaps we should go to King Herod. Perhaps, but the real power is here in Pilate's hands. He will have to make the final decision. Our beloved King Oedipus is just a figurehead, and he crawls to these heathens. And we, the Sanhedrin, do not crawl? Nathan, my friend, be patient. I assure you, I'm going to loose the iron grip of Rome as much as any man in Israel. But now is just not the right time. But this Jesus is so powerful. I fear he will stir the people to do something ill-advised. Something stupid, you mean? These people can be fooled so easily. We've proven that often enough. They have such a hunger for something, I'm not sure what. What's that music? Can you hear it? I hear it, but I can't see. Wait, now I can. It's him. And his followers are proclaiming him king.
Look at them. They behave like a bunch of fanatics, but it won't last. That's the effect he has on them. All they want is a show. It'll take more than a profit on a donkey to move this crowd. It is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, and you have made it a den of thieves. <laughs> builders have rejected has become the cornerstone of the temple but rabbi what do you say of this temple destroy this temple and in three days I shall raise it up let everyone who is sick or injured lame or halt come to this temple for I know my father will do wondrous things here today Come here. Come. What is your name? Simon. Simon the leper. Brother, from this time on, You'll be known only as Simon.
You there. You are one of his closest followers. Tell him to stop. He has no authority to do these things. He's not qualified to speak this way. You can't be serious. Not qualified. No authority. Are you blind? Master. Master. Master, these men say you have no right or authority to do this. What is your authority? Who gave you this authority? I will ask you one question. Tell me and I will tell you by what authority I have done these things. John's baptism, was it from heaven or from men? Tell me. We will never know. If we say from heaven, he will say, why don't you believe him then? The but if we say from men, the people will turn against us forever, for they regard John Holly. As did heaven. What can we say? We would just have to avoid the question. Here they come. <clears throat> we cannot say. <laughs> then neither shall I tell you by what authority I have done these things. Rabbi, tell us plainly, who are you? Weren't you listening? Haven't you seen any of this? He told you a moment ago, he is the rock of prophecy, the stone the builders rejected. And now he is the very foundation of our relationship with God.
Duchess said there was no hope. I never dreamed we would see such a thing. And I never dreamed I would be able to see. Well, you are the blind woman that was healed. Yes, and how wonderful it is to be able to see. Can you believe it? I was born blind, but no more. Jesus healed me. Oh, oh praise the Lord. Too Jesus soon. healed her. What is this? How is it that... How is it that Leah is walking? A man named Jesus put his hands on her and she was healed. Josiah, that, that's not everything. Tell Jochebed and, and Shimei all about the uh, temple and when Jesus all right. was there. Oh. All right, Esther. All right. Oh, thank I'm, you, Josiah. I'm thrilled about what has happened too, but slow down. Please, Josiah, tell us exactly what happened. Well, we were at the temple's outer courts. We went there to get a lamb for the Passover. This man, Jesus, came in. Drove out the money changers. Money scattered everywhere. Leah, your father is talking. He, that is Jesus, then called for all the sick, lame, and blind to come to him for healing. This is when Leah got healed. No, not immediately. You see, uh, you know, he was at the temple, and, and this blind beggar that always sits at temple steps, well, he was there, and he got healed, and then... <laughs> And then he healed me. What was wrong with him? I was blind. Born blind, in fact. My whole life was spent in darkness. I had only heard of a blue sky, white clouds, clothes of brown, blue, and purple. I had only heard the birds sing. But today, today I can see them. And they are more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. Oh, God be praised. Jesus healed me. And, and this is when he healed Leah. That's right. I took Leah over to him. I put her into his arms. Jesus put Leah down. And then she walked. Oh, Shimei. This Jesus could heal our Mishael. We must find him and take our son to him. Josiah, do you know where we can find Jesus? Yes, he... Oh, uh, I think he went to Simon's house, you know. Simon the leper? Yes. Oh, so this... This healer is keeping company with lepers, is he? Yes and no. You see, Simon was a leper, but Jesus healed him too. Oh, Shimei, we must take Mishael to him. Shimmy, old friend, I've known you for many years, and I know how your, your heart has longed for your son to be well and whole. The opportunity is finally here. Please, don't pass it up. Come on, Esther, Leah, we must be going. Goodbye, my friend. For years we prayed. Now this could be our answer. This Jesus could heal our son. Before she left, Esther told me that his, his followers are calling him Lord and King. Very well. Let's take our Mishael to this, this King, Jesus. I can't believe you're all here at my house. I've never been to a dinner before, let alone one at my house. <laughs> Simon, more than your hand has been restored, your sins are forgiven. You've been reunited with your people, and now we celebrate with you. Lord, words, words fail me. I, I. We have all been restored in one way or another by Jesus' touch. Miriam was about to be stoned by the Pharisees when Jesus rescued her. And Lazarus here was raised from the dead. And Mary Magdalene delivered from demon possession. Jesus told us he has come to give us life that more abundantly. We can all testify to that. That's right. The time of your weeping, your time of being an outcast because of leprosy, is gone. Now is the time for rejoicing. 
A time is given for all things on the earth. A time for planting and harvest. The time of your weeping is now in the past. Today's the time for singing. It's time to rejoice and sing. Simon in on what has happened to all of us. Mary, oh, yes. will you help me with the food now? Oh, just a minute. Simon, there's so much to tell. You see, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. And then he was led into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan, but he didn't yield to that temptation. And then I remember there was this wedding in, in Cana of Galilee where Jesus turned water into wine. <laughs> Mary, don't you think we'd better slow down a little and start from the beginning? I suppose we ought to let the mother of Jesus start. Oh, you're his mother? <laughs> I've never even had the Lord in my house, let alone his mother. <laughs> oh. It hasn't always been easy, you know. I Raising God's son. Let's just say I've had a few challenges most mothers don't face. I was so young when the angel appeared to me and the Holy Spirit came upon me and I discovered that what they said was true. I was going to have a baby. And all of this happened before my good husband Joseph and I could even get married. Needless to say, it caused no small stir in our little village of Nazareth. But Joseph stood by me all of his life. You see, the angel visited him too. Jesus was such a lovely child. 
I remember I used to sing to him. The night is here, my little lamb. Try not to cry. You remember the shepherds and the wise men that came to worship him? But for a while, I didn't have to share him with the whole world. But then the day came when Jesus began preaching his message. Just three years ago, James, John, and my brother Andrew and I were just fishermen in Galilee. But Jesus rescued us too. Oh, really? From what? Uh, blindness? L leprosy? No, it was boredom. <laughs> footsteps of your family. Be a fisherman like people say you're meant to be. Go down to the boat, cast your net in the sea, take your turn at the oar. What's the sail? Mend the net, fling the fish, cut the bait. Yada dum, yada dee. Oh, nothing ever happens to me. to me
called 12 of us to follow him. And when we did, we started witnessing the most astounding things. And hearing the most astounding things. Why, Simon, we are part of this kingdom of God. But, but this kingdom is not like those of men. The laws are different. There's power in a spiritual realm. I remember, I remember Jesus fed thousands of people with just five loaves of bread and 17 little fish. Why, it was uh, a... There were only two fish. Only two? Well, I guess it wouldn't make any difference. Hey, a miracle is a miracle. Just want to get the back. All right, two fish. But it was wonderful, Simon. I wish you could have been there. I mean, we have seen healings like yours. Demons cast out? Even the dead raised to life? Yeah. Simon, my brother Lazarus, had been dead four days, and Jesus raised him up from the dead. You know, that's what made me want to come and see if, if Jesus wouldn't do something for me. I've never even seen anybody that was raised from the dead, let alone had him in my house. <laughs> resurrection and the life. Simon Peter, for flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you, but my Father who is in heaven. You are Peter, and on this rock of truth I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it.
The things Jesus has done are marvelous, but so are the things he has taught us. They defy logic. There's power in the spiritual realm. It's just something I can't explain. Why, just last week, my brother James and I were wondering if, if, if what we... John, you don't have to tell everything. Listen, I happen to think this is important. And it was all your idea anyway. It was not! It was just a restaurant! Boy! You don't... Simon, you'll have to excuse my boy. But now you can see why the Lord calls them the sons of thunder. I think so. But what are you talking about? Uh, they had this crazy idea, and they wanted me to talk to the Lord about it for them. So, he's showing us that real leaders are servants.
perfume. It should have been sold and, and, and the money given to the poor. Why waste it like this? Judas, Judas, my friend, there has been no waste. She has done a beautiful thing to me. You will have other opportunities to help the poor, but I won't always be with you like this. I tell you all, wherever the good news of the kingdom is told, this thing she has done will be mentioned. You have done well, Mary, for you have anointed my body for burial. It must quickly come to pass.
did he speak to me that way in front of the others? I was only thinking of the poor, honestly. That was valuable perfume. And it just poured on me. It doesn't make sense. What we need is money, not sentiment. If we're going to get this revolution off the ground, we're going to need lots of money. And why? Why didn't he seize the moment he had the other day in the temple court? He had those people in the palm of his hand, especially after Simon was healed. Moments like that don't come often. Why didn't he let them proclaim him king? What is he waiting on? I can't help but wonder what would happen if, if I could find a way to force him. I know it's crazy, but, but what isn't crazy these days? If I could find a way to make him declare himself, he simply would not let them take him. We've come too far to let that happen. I will keep my eyes and ears open. Maybe there will be a way. Maybe, maybe that's what he wants. Judas, we're eating already. Everything is just as you said it would be, Lord. The man, this room, everything. It's difficult sometimes to believe. And then it just happened. Just the way you said it would. You must learn to trust me in everything. Even when it goes against your human understanding. I have loved each one of you just as the Father loves me. Yes, Lord. But truly, I must tell you, one of you is about to betray me. No, no Lord. Lord. We would Lord, never do that, Lord. Lord. Who would betray me? Lord, you know my heart. You know it is not me. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that he may glorify thee. You are blessed. O oh Lord our God, for you have given us your law and the very bread we are to eat. This is my body, which is broken in death for you. Lord, your body. Take it and eat. I thank thee for this drink of the vine, which we will now drink. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is poured out for many. Take it and drink. I shall not drink again from this fruit of the vine again and I, till I drink it anew with you in the kingdom of my father. But Lord, are you going to leave us? Where are you going? You cannot follow me now, but you will follow me later. But Lord, I will follow you now. Peter, Satan has asked permission to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not utterly fail. But after you are strengthened, you must help your brothers to be strong. For all of you will abandon me this night. No, 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 no. no. We will never leave you. For the scripture says, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. It is written that betrayer will come and betray him. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Judas, what you do, go and do quickly. Judas. But Lord, I 
I'm ready to go to prison or even to death with you. But I would never betray you. Peter, this very night, before the cock crows, you would deny three times no. oh, no. Lord, that you me. even know me. No. Remember my words. I have told you all of this while I'm still with you. When I send the Holy Spirit to you, he will cause you to remember everything that I myself have told you. You will believe on me and bear testimony to me. Now, this is my commandment to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. I tell you that a man can show no greater love than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. In just a little while, you will weep, you will wail, you will grieve, but your grief will be transformed into great joy, for you will know that I am the way, that I am the truth, and that I am the life. The God of Abraham prays, who reigns in throne above. I bow and bless thy sacred You might be interested in my help. Why would you come to us now? My reasons don't concern you. I am willing to take you to him. Are you interested? Patience, my friend. You seem uncertain of this business. Forget about me. Aren't you interested in him? We might be. I can, I can take you to him. You can take us to him? When? Perhaps tonight. So quickly? Yes, quickly. I don't know, Gail. This man is so strange. What if it's some kind of trick? What kind of trick could it be? Who can tell? But if we do this thing, I think we should consult with Pop and get some soldiers. Yes, get soldiers. Look, there isn't much time. Are you interested or not? All right. How does... Thirty pieces of silver sound. Is that fair? Fair? I, I suppose so. Later tonight, I think he's going to a certain garden. I will come for you here. It will be late, and the others will be sleeping. Hey, you are doing a fine thing for your people, my son. But, God be with you. Yes, God be with me. is crushed. Why are you so far from the words of my groaning? Hear my urgent cry. Father, if it is possible, let the cup 
Let it pass from me. Let it be as you would have it. Not I. Peter. Peter, James, John, could you not watch for me even for one hour? Wake up. Wake up. Prince of Darkness approaches. Judas. Master. Judas. Judas, you betray your master with a kiss. Judas! Who is it that you want? Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. Arrest him. Peter, put away your sword. Shall I not drink from the cup the Father has given me? I have told you my kingdom would not be such. Every day I was with you in the temple. Why do you come at night with swords and clubs, as you would a common criminal? But this is your hour, darkness. Take him. No. 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 You can't have no. Fight. No. no. Sir. You. one of his men. I saw, I saw this liar in the garden with him when he was arrested. No, you know, no. I've never known him. May hell can, can, can sue me if I'm one of his men.
Service. Why do you pursue us? You've got what you bargained for. I said that I would die for him I really thought I could But there I was denying him I never thought I would I failed the Lord I let him down After all he's done for me And now he's walking up a hill A hill called taking to Calvary.
I'll give it some thought. Thank you, sir. But don't forget all the upheaval caused by his trial and crucifixion. If it pleases you, allow me to remove his body for burial. And you will prevent a great disturbance from among the Jews. Very well. The body is yours. Soldier, see that he takes the body without disturbance.
Woman, why are you crying? I came early this morning, before daybreak, to anoint the body of my Lord, Mary his mother, and Mary Lazarus' sister came with me. We wondered how we'd move away the stone, but when we arrived, we saw that the stone had all been rolled away. And an angel spoke to us, and he told us that, that Jesus was gone. We hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples, and Peter and John came to see for themselves. I followed again to see by my side where he lay in the body of my Lord. Oh, please, sir, if you've taken his body, tell me where it is that I may come and take it. <laughs> Mary. Master. Do not touch me, Mary, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go and tell my brethren that I am ascending to my father and to your father, to my God and to your God. Jesus intrigues me. Perhaps I should read what the prophet Isaiah says. <clears throat> Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with sufferings. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. 
He was crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquities of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. Jesus said nothing as he was crucified. Could this be the man that Isaiah talks of? He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shears is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was stricken. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. This Jesus did no violence. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes him like a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hands. After the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great. And he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death. And it was numbered with the transgressors, for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. I think I should tell J.L. this. He needs to hear this. So, all we know for sure is that the stone has been rolled away and his body is missing. I know more than that. I saw the Lord. I thought he was the gardener at first, but then he spoke to me, and I know it was him. Mary. John and I went to the tomb, but Jesus wasn't there. The grave clothes we wrapped him in were there just as if he disappeared. And the napkin we bound his head with was folded neatly on top of him. I can't explain it. The Lord is alive. The Lord is alive. We saw him. We talked to him. We ate supper with him and he made it. Hold on a minute. One at a time. Cleopas, tell us what happened. Well, we were walking on the road to Emmaus when suddenly there was this man walking with us. We didn't know who he was. He didn't seem to know anything about the crucifixion. So we started telling him about it. And then he started telling us about the Messiah, all the way from Moses and the prophets. We, we asked him to have supper with us, and as soon as we broke bread, we realized it was Jesus. Brothers, Our master, sisters, let me assure you, Jesus is alive. He is. He is. He's alive. He's alive. Oh, it's the Lord. It's Jesus. Okay. Lord. Why are you afraid? Look at my hands and my feet. You will see that I am flesh and bone, not a ghost. Do you have anything to eat here? Yes, Lord. Here. Here's a piece of fish. Lord, here's a piece of honeycomb. Lord, you are alive. While I was with you, I told you that it would be this way, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written by Moses and the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Master, help us to understand the things that you have spoken to us. And, and, and what has been written by the prophets? From this moment, your understanding of my words shall increase. Thus it is written that I should suffer and rise from the dead the third day to enter the glory of my Father. You are my witnesses to this. Throughout the ages, that old serpent, the devil, he sought for the woman's seed whose heel he would bruise. But the devil's success was his failure. 
For when he found it in me, I fulfilled the words of my father from the days of Eden, and I bruised the serpent's head. And now, you can also understand what was written me by David in the Psalms when he said, they pierced my hands and my feet. You saw how they, the soldiers divided up my clothes and, and they cast lots for my robe. You see, it was by the Holy Spirit that David wrote that I would be poured out like water. And when my side was pierced, what David said was proved that my heart was like wax. It was melted in the midst of me. But Master, <coughs> we saw you pierced and bruised, but what of the enemy? When did you bruise his head? Remember Jonah. As he was in the belly of the fish, so was I in the belly of the earth. And it was by the Holy Spirit that the prophet Habakkuk he wrote of my march through hell in indignation, and that in anger, I destroyed the forces of my enemy. You see, I went there for your salvation. But while I was there, I crushed and completely destroyed the forces of my enemy. And though I was dead, behold, I am alive. And I declare to you, alive forever. Sunrise was coming, gentle and warm, it woke up the day, reflecting his light, for Jesus has risen, heaven and earth, now join in our praise. Those who have seen him now been there, Thomas. Then you would have seen him like the rest of us. Look, I enjoyed being with him as much as anybody else did. 
There has never been anyone like him, and I'm sure there never will be again. Thomas. But he is dead. No. We all saw him die. We cannot change things by letting our dreams get the best of our common sense. Thomas. Be reasonable. I remember what he told you about reason, Thomas. He said, you must begin with faith and then proceed to reason. And what is that supposed to mean? It means you must believe, Thomas. alive again and now I Thomas, patient. Come here. Come. Jesus. Place your fingers in my wounds. My Lord. Now take your hand and place it in my side. Thomas, you are blessed to have seen and believed, but more blessed are those who believe before they see. Oh, 
rough, I doubted you. You've never changed, but it was I who would not go through. I will no longer doubt. Forgive me, Lord, for my unbending ways. You've heard all the talk, haven't you? They say he isn't dead. I've heard that talk, but he's dead. I saw him die. How his followers were able to get past the Roman soldiers guarding the tomb, I can't figure it. But they must have because the tomb is empty. J.L., you don't suppose. I mean, could it be that this Jesus really is? Was, you mean? Was the Messiah. Our king won't come riding a donkey. He won't be a carpenter's son. But you saw the miracles. If he could raise Lazarus, why couldn't he come back from death himself? Dathan, you've been too long in the hot sun. You're beginning to sound like one of his knuckleheads. You make me nervous speaking that way. J.L., do you believe the prophets? Why, of course I do. I've been rereading them. Come with me. There is something very interesting I want to show you. Just as you said. We threw the nets just where you told us to, and there's plenty for all. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep. Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Take care of my lambs.
I love you, Lord. And you know I always meant to do things right. I love you, Lord. And when I think of how I failed you, I can cry. Hear you calling me, I, I want to run and hide. Yet, Lord, you know, I love you so. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Lord, you know everything. And you know that I love you. Take care of my lambs. Follow me. I love you, Lord. Although I know my heart may not seem true. I love you, Lord. And I pray for one more chance to prove I do. I want to leave the past behind and feel your smile again. Oh, Lord, you know I love you so. I love you so. So, if you find it in your heart to let me start again, I'll be your witness, Lord, your witness, Lord, your witness to the end of my life. Let me make it right. Let me try again. I'll be your witness to the Make it right. Let me try again. I'll be your witness to the end. To the of Jesus. He's dead. I saw him die. And we saw him alive. Many times we've seen him. Just a few days ago, we saw him taken up into heaven in a cloud. He told us to wait here in Jerusalem till the power he had was given to us. That is a lie! No. The real truth is here before you, in us. About 120 of us were gathered in an upper room praying for the power of the Holy Spirit. As we came together in unity of praise, we heard a sound like a rushing mighty wind. Tongues of fire appeared and divided and set on each of us. Then the power came. Each one of us began to speak in other languages we had never learned before as the Holy Spirit gave us the ability. to pray and it all began I'll never forget the day the fire fell the spirit came and nothing will ever be the same 
And God is fulfilling the prophecy of Joel. He is pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. The fire fell, the Spirit came, and nothing will ever be the same. Men, brethren, you'll remember the prophecy of Joel. Sons and daughters are prophesying in the streets. Get ready. Your young are seeing visions and your old are dreaming dreams. Get ready. This is the beginning of the ending. The day before the day of the Lord. Get ready for the day that God is sending. When the sun is gone and the moon is turned to blood. Shout the good news from heaven today. He is reaching out to rescue all the call upon his name. This is the beginning of beginnings, the day that brings the mercy of God. Get ready for the grace of Lord is sending, while he offers you salvation through his blood. Tell us, Peter. What must we do to be saved? You must repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so that your sins may be forgiven. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you and your children, to those yet to be born, to all whom the Lord our God will call. Save yourself from this corrupt generation. Aren't you Jesus' mother? I can understand the joy of his friends, but how can you be joyful? Your son was murdered just a few days ago. I know this sounds strange, but I feel closer to him today than ever before. You see, when he ascended into heaven, two angels were there to tell us that he would come back the same way that he ascended. I will see him again. The sky. 